What is up guys it's the real deal welcome to the channel guys today we're looking at tony the tiger aka taylor swift and this guy is a mega chonker he can do some insane damage he is single target but he hits like a truck uh the only thing i don't like about him is the way he looks he just looks redonkulous um yeah he has this big floppy mustache he has a bin lid on his head and he makes no sense to me. He's this big, muscly dude. You know, he's been hitting the gym hard. And, you know, he should be up front. He should be like an assassin or vanguard. And they've decided to make him an archer. You know, so he's this big, strong lion. Sorry, tiger. And they made him a cowardly lion. So he's sitting at the back, chipping away as an archer. Just, yeah, really cowardly. Makes no sense. He should be up front, you know, busting heads. But, all right. But we have to ignore that. You know, he is a real beast. Um, as soon as you get him, you want to invest in him. He's good for early, mid and late game. Um, but yeah, an absolute beast. So what we'll do is we'll look through his abilities, then through the gear, and then we'll um, take him into the Terror Dome. So his first ability, Soul Journey. So he enters the state of Soul Journey, increasing his range by 50% and allowing him to quickly charge to any place on the battlefield. This is one of the best things about him. Um, it's really, really fun to play with. So if you turn it off manual, you can actually choose where he jumps around on the map um, and literally just having him jumping all over the place. Really, really sick. Um, he gains 28% attack and 15% crit rate for nine seconds. So the nine seconds is really important. So you'll enter Soul Journey for nine seconds. And this is... Got it's quite easy to build up that 600 energy so you can start using Ultima again. So it comes around pretty quick. And because it's 15%, you also get a talent that increases it by 15%. And as you go further down as well, so at the moment it's 30%, but then when you sort of um, start to progress, it'll be 24 plus 15, which is 39. Let's round it up to a nice even 40%. So you're basically going to be getting 40% crit rate every time he goes into soul journey and it's going to be constantly throughout the fight which is just huge and he's going to do extra damage also taylor have their crit rate increased by 15 percent when he is dealing damage to the target marked with tiger flame so he'll be using tiger flame a lot and yeah you will be getting that extra 15 percent. so basically it's 40 percent extra crit rate so yeah he's a real real beast um then we've got fire spirit arrow the user shall shoot four fire spirit arrows at a single enemy. So this is great for Disa Caves. Um, that boss has 21, 23 hits that you need to hit him. So these multi hits are really going to help chip away at that. So you can um, you know, not wipe on the boss. Each inflicting damage equal to 138% of his attack. I'll be honest, I don't know the maths behind this. I just know it does a lot of damage, and that's all you need to know. The fire spirit arrows shall prioritize the enemy that has been affected by the tiger flame. So a lot of this um, revolves around tiger flame. So that's his next ability, and we'll look at that in a moment. But basically, he'll well shoots a fire spirit arrow at the nearest enemy. That's all we need to know. So basically, it's going to hit the closest person to us, and then all that damage is going to be focused on that target. So bonus effect. Immediately after entering Soul Journey, the cooldown of Fire Spirit Arrow is instantly refreshed. While Soul Journey is active, the cooldown of Fire Spirit Arrow is reduced from 9 seconds to 4. So obviously that just means that we're going to be pumping out a load of damage and it's going to help us speed up being able to just do more Fire Spirit Arrows. But what's great about this as well, well what you can see is that all of his abilities revolve around his Soul Journey. It all ties in together. So this all comes in with the soul journey and then it will also be in his tiger flame as well so tiger flame arrow shoots a fire spirit arrow at the nearest enemy the arrow cannot penetrate enemies so what this means is you've got someone standing here and there's a whole bunch of enemies behind them that arrow will only hit the first closest target and it cannot go through and hit anyone else that's behind which is fine uh, he deals again 317% attack damage to the enemy hit and inflicts 
Tiger Flame on them for eight seconds. So again, I don't know the mass behind this, but it just means he's going to do a ton of damage. Then Tiger Flame decreases the crit damage reduction of the enemy by 20%. This is huge. So tanks, bosses, all of these guys are going to have this built into them and we're going to remove 20% of that. Um, so for eight seconds so we're going to be doing a load of damage and it's also good for your teammates as well to help us chip away <laughs> at these uh these bosses and tanks and again if we look at the bonus effect talent effect this skill is immediately refreshed when soul journey is activated this effect can trigger up to three times per battle so again it ties in with that soul journey and we'll just be able to start popping off and just doing some insane damage his passive, Inspiration. During a battle, Taylor gains 1% crit damage and recovers 3 energy each time he triggers a crit up to a max of 30%. The effect lasts until the end of the battle. So this is why we want to have that crit rate on him because obviously it means they're going to be able to stack up that crit damage a lot faster and it will last for the entire fight. And then so if you come down here and you can see that it's going to increase crit damage by 4% and recovery by uh, for energy by six. So we'll recover six energy, which is gonna obviously mean that we can do things a lot faster. And then there's two bonus effects. So talent effect, when the damage bonus of this skill is increased to 30%, the damage of fire sparrows is increased by 3%. So it just means we're gonna be doing more damage again. And then his um, exclusive effect, passive skill, inspiration will be enhanced. The energy recovered for each crit hit is increased by an additional five points and the max crit damage obtained after a critical strike is increased to a max of 50 percent. so we're going from 30 to 50 and that's huge that means we're going to be doing an insane amount of extra damage and then exclusive effects after receiving 45 percent crit damage from inspiration reduces the cooldown of tiger spirit arrows by 1.5 seconds so all of this just means that he just basically does a lot of damage and as you sort of progress he's just going to do more damage he's going to reduce cooldowns he's going to get more energy and he's just be able to cycle for his abilities a lot faster as well so his equipment we've gone for triple sun signet we need crit rate on him the more crit rate you have the more damage he's going to do so we've got 65.8 percent crit rate I would say aim for 50% first. Uh, then you want to get as much crit damage as you can. So crit damage, we've got 68.9%. And focusing on crit rate and crit damage is going to give you way more damage than if you were to focus on attack. Obviously, you do want some attack, uh, but crit rate and crit damage, focus on those first and you will do way, way more damage. Trust me. Um, so for substats, we're looking for crit rate. Nice double roll here. Then we're looking for crit damage again a nice double roll double roll in crit rate again on the trousers for the gloves ideally you want to go crit damage first if you can't then go for crit rate that's perfectly fine you might even be able to go for attack percentage as well because it's going to at least help bump up damage you know you don't want to just throw away stats if you can't get crit rate you can't get crit damage then go for attack percentage at least you've got it's better to have something than nothing um, then for the helmet, we've got attack percentage and then attack percentage on the boots. And again, a nice double roll in attack, uh, sorry, in crit rate as well. So let's bring him into the Terra Dome. Welcome to the Terra Dome. Whenever I see that, it just makes me think of the Thunder Dome from Mad Max. So we're going to do um, level 11. And we are going to put Tony the Tiger on full auto. Uh, just do a quick rundown of the team, and then we're just going to purely focus on Tony the Tiger. So we've got Orthan, God-tier tank, uh, very new to the game. And yeah, he is so good um, for progression. He can just take hits. Uh, we've got Anpu, who's also great for this. Um, his zombies can take aggro off Argo and tank as well. And he does decent damage, and the zombies will be inside his circle, so they can also do normal damage randall is a great assassin who's going to come in and do loads of damage as well within that circle and then we've got tony the tiger 
who I'm going to show you a little trick with him so we can do loads of damage with him. And then we've got Serena, who's going to do loads of healing to the team and keep everyone alive. And there we go. It, yeah, okay. It wouldn't let me click on the commander. We've got the commander. So it's Hagridon. I'm just using him basically for survivability. Um, you know, he's just going to help us stay alive. Maybe I could swap him out for someone that's going to help uh, Tony the Tiger do more damage. But at the moment, I need that survivability. First prototype, we've got Orb of Domination. Orb of Domination. When an allied energy hunter or assassin or vanguard hero sustains critical hit, they shall have a 30% chance to gain a shield for 5% of their max HP for 5 seconds. This is one of my favorite prototypes at the moment. It's so good for survivability. And at the moment, uh, early to mid game, that's what I need. So Ultima Ring... Um, when an allied tank hero receives damage, there will be a 20% chance that the attack of the attacker shall be reduced by 24% for 5 seconds. This is a great prototype. Um, just reducing attack on bosses, on you know anyone up front that's going to be hitting us, we are going to be significantly reducing the damage that we take. Again, it's all about survivability. Scholar Monument, when an allied hero sustains critical hit, from the enemy all heroes shall recover one percent of their max hp this effect can only be triggered once every three seconds this just helps with the healing for serena and it's just it's broken to be honest that is broken that is insane amount of healing so let's go on with the fight and we're gonna put it on two times we don't need one time for this one make sure yep tony the tiger is on manual and we just need to wait for Soul Journey to come up. So at the moment, you'll see that he's not doing a lot of damage because he's outside of this circle. But as soon as he comes in, and we're going to just go jump here, the damage is just going to jump up huge. So yeah, he's already in the lead now. And Orthan is pretty, is pretty surprising. Sorry, one sec. So we want to... Basically, the boss is going to be focused around here. So we just want to be behind him, chipping away. And the boss will do this red arc. You'll see it soon. And we just want to make sure that we do not get hit by that. And we don't want to take aggro. So we want to be as far away from the boss and as close. And whenever you can, you want to jump because that's going to spike up our damage. And yeah, just help us beat the boss even faster. And yeah, Orthan, you can see he's doing a good amount of damage. He is ridiculous. He really is. So Tony the Tiger, we're going to make sure that we jump with him to help uh, take out these bombs a little bit faster. And actually, just one thing to keep out is you'll see an emblem, an emblem, an icon. We'll call it an icon. It's easier to say. You'll see an icon of a tiger pop up. Okay, so what we're going to do here is... We're just going to wait for the ult to come off. There we go. And we're just going to jump out of the way. And just while I'm holding this, can you see there's an icon there with a tiger on it with some fire around it? That is the uh, tiger flame arrow. And that means that we're doing that reduced, uh, reduced crit damage reduction on the boss right there. And yeah, it took him out pretty comfortably. And that's a pretty good clear time at 1 minute 46 seconds. And then we click on the bar graph and we can just look at all the damage. So he's done 8 mil, Orthan at 3 mil, Randall really struggling at 2.5 mil. I do feel like Randall, I don't know, maybe he's falling off or maybe I need to change the build, but he just doesn't seem nowhere on the same level as Tony the Tiger. Um, and he's more evolved than Tony as well. I think Tony's legendary and he's immortal. But anyway... Um, I'm just going to show you guys one more trick as well. I won't do it completely. But we're just going to go into the Deesa Caves. And I'm just going to show you one last trick with Tony the Tiger. I won't do the full run, but just to give you guys an idea of how it works. So what's going to happen is um, Sion is going to get that shield. He'll drop in his back. And I think this only comes into play after stage 11, maybe stage 11 or 12. But what will happen is this little bug will appear. And actually, we're going to turn it off. You, I don't need to. Actually, it does work for auto, but you don't have to do it for auto. 
Um, but yeah, what's really cool about this is well, actually Anpu can just take out the bug with his AoE damage anyway. So there's the bug. We're going to jump right behind him. That's a little bit annoying. Tiger Flame did not uh, focus him, but it's all right. He's down already. But that's just a little trick that you can use to kill that healing bug hell of a lot quicker. Um, and then it means that you can take down Scion a little bit quicker as well. And I don't know if you guys can see this yet. I'm getting the... Okay, there, it's all right. I was getting the blue circle of death on the mouse. Uh, but yeah, it stopped. So yeah, you don't need to see the full run of that. It's pretty basic. So let's come out of that. But yeah, so that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, just to recap, though, you know, Tony Tiger is a beast. You definitely want to invest in him. Make sure you get as much crit rate and crit damage you can on him. And he will carry you so far in the game. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure to smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the video soon. Peace.